Most books you read today have been printed in a matter of minutes. However, in the olden days, it would take months to print books. The earliest books were printed using hand printing technology. This technology was first developed in China, Japan, and Korea. Let's go back to ancient China, where skilled woodblock carvers had started printing books from AD 594. In this technique, paper was pressed onto the inked surface of wood blocks. The pages were then stitched to form a traditional Chinese accordion book. This was also known as hand printing. Several copies of these books were made with the help of calligraphists. Initially, books were printed only for people appearing for the civil service examinations. The number of books multiplied later in the 16th century as the number of candidates increased. A century later, urban culture bloomed in China, which introduced reading as a leisure activity. They wanted to read a variety of books such as fictional narratives, poetry, autobiographies, anthologies of literary masterpieces, and romantic plays. During this time, rich women also took up reading and began writing poetry and plays. This reading culture necessitated the introduction of mechanical printing technology in the late 19th century. Eventually, mechanical presses from the Western countries were introduced in China. Interestingly, Buddhist missionaries from China introduced hand printing technology in Japan. In AD 868, the Japanese printed their first book, the Diamond Sutra. Later, in medieval Japan, books were available in plenty and at lower prices. A variety of books could be found at city libraries and bookstores. Meanwhile, an interesting art form called Yukio emerged in Japan. It was introduced by painter Kitagawa Utamaro. In this procedure, an artist's painting was traced on a paper. This paper was then glued onto a wood block. Then, a skilled wood block carver would carve a printing block to replicate the artist's lines. Later, this block was inked and printed. Sadly, in this process, the artist's original sketch would get destroyed. By the start of the 13th century, hand printing technology was introduced in Europe. Besides silk and spices, Chinese paper also traveled to Europe via the Silk Route. In 1295, Marco Polo returned to Italy with the knowledge of woodblock printing technology. Soon, this technology spread to other parts of Europe. Interestingly, two kinds of books were printed. Luxury editions were handwritten on vellum, a parchment made from the skin of animals for the wealthy, while cheaper copies were printed for others. To meet the increasing demand for books, booksellers started exporting books to different countries. Book fairs were organized at various places, and booksellers hired new scribes or skilled handwriters to meet the requirements. However, a faster and cheaper technology was needed. The first known printing press in the 1430s, developed by Johann Gutenberg, came as a much-needed solution. The 
the first book he printed was the Bible. However, it took him three years to print 180 copies, which was still quite fast by the standards of that time. Despite this new technology being available, it did not completely replace hand printing technology. Lustrations and borders were painted while the text was printed. Between 1450 and 1550, printing presses were established in most European countries. In the second half of the 15th century, 20 million copies of books were printed. This production grew 10 times in the next century. Slowly, mechanical printing overtook hand printing technology, leading to the print revolution.